Hello everyone, it's me again, Any Red Black Swan, and this is another wig review. And today we'll be reviewing the wig that I got sent from Kalani Wigs. I worked with them several times before, so they decided to send me something just a little bit different. And okay, so here is the wig straight out of the box. So pretty, very, very nice. Here's the inside of the wig. The 13 by 4, this is a lot of grace right here, okay? It's a lot of grace. So the more the lace, the more diverse you can have your hairstyles. As I'm running my fingers through the hair, I really like the curl pattern. And I feel like I can bring it out after I shampoo and condition her. Okay, so the rest of the video is going to be a voiceover. So y'all get to listen to my soothing radio voice. I just girl whatever um my voice is weird but okay so this is how my hair looks without weave y'all um yeah i really don't be showing it like that but i went back to the creamy crack and that's where we're at because i just couldn't i just couldn't do the natural hair thing anymore it was just too time consuming so um this is my hair i put the edges back so when i put on the stocking cap you know i can go ahead and you know i don't have to worry about no flyaways or anything like that i just use regular old eco styling gel and then i'm going to go ahead and put some makeup on the cap because i'm not going to be gluing the cap down and then also you don't want that super beige strip of your stocking cap to be showing through the wig like girl get your life together nobody wants that okay so this is where the magic happens i am putting on this hair she is still slightly damp from the washing but i did make sure to dry the lace part of the hair and as soon as i put her on i just really love the way the hair in itself felt it felt so smooth and like the process that they put it in i don't know it just made it feel so soft so you know i didn't get that irritation in the back of my neck i didn't feel all uncomfortable the lace in itself wasn't itchy because you know sometimes the lace be thick and um the first thing i really did notice was the edge line now the highlight point of the wig is the forest or the kinky the kinky texture lace or some companies like to say it's a uh, 4c lace so this particular hair pattern on the edge line just gives you that little bit of a more natural feel when you are putting on your hair so you don't have to do as much this wig to be honest requires no baby hairs you can that's optional but you're doing the the hairline an injustice if you feel like you have to manipulate them any more than than they already have been that's how pretty this hairline is and mind you i didn't even pluck it girl baby girl this hairline is not plucked bleached anything this is how it came out of the box so what i did i got some free spray and i just hit it a couple of times and then i went ahead and put the edge band that the company had sent you know all the while working in the that free spray to make sure that the wig is staying in place because i was about to i ain't about to sleep in this wig like there's no way i'm gonna put this wig through hell like that because i sleep really bad so this is how the hair looks semi dry so you have your options i did blow it out just a tiny bit with a blow dryer so just to see if the curls were gonna bounce back I do apologize for not getting that on film, but uh, the curls do bounce back if you do want to straighten it. So after that's done, uh, this is me talking and the audio is so bad right here. I don't know what happened, but basically I'm just like, hey, y'all, the hair was amazing and I really do like it. Like I'm, I'm being super obnoxious right here, but check out this hairline. This hairline is homegrown with wear. I literally popped out the womb with this hairline like it makes no sense how detailed and amazing this hairline is I literally 
I just cut the lace. As soon as I cut the lace, I was like, oh, honey. So you, you don't want me to help you out? You don't, you don't really want me to help? You, you don't want me to, you don't want me to do nothing to you? And she was like, no, I got it. Leave me alone. I got it. That's what my hairline said to me. And uh, I absolutely love this wig. I did spray a little bit more water in her, but I didn't want it to be like a super laid down look because with this curl pattern, you're doing it in injustice by making it flat. It's supposed to be full, voluminous, luxurious, 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 luxurious curls. Okay, you want to give her her glory. When you step out, you want people to be like, who is she? And what person is wearing her? Like you want people to marvel at the beauty of how what you brought out in this wig and what this wig is bringing out to you. Y'all are now companions. Okay, that's why I bonded with this wig. This wig is immaculate, freaking immaculate. Look how I'm looking. Look how I'm looking. I can wear this wig with no makeup and throw on some strip lashes and some lip gloss. And I'm going to take somebody's father out that good in this hair. You're not going to tell me this hair doesn't look like it popped out of my scalp. You're just really not. <laughs> You're just really not. Mind you, I didn't even completely cover the lace with makeup. I barely laid her down. Why am I whispering? Because it's crazy. It's crazy. I absolutely love this wig. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Oh, yeah. There was some shedding when I was transitioning from dry to wet and combing the hair through. Uh, that really didn't bother me. This wig is 150% density. It is 24 inches. The lace is a 13 by 4. You think I care about a little bit of shedding? You're out of your mind. You're out of your freaking mind. Look how pretty. Look how long it looks. Yeah, my shirt's wet because like the hair's still dripping. But look how long it is. It's gorgeous. That's so much body and volume. Oh, Lord. It's like a 1B. A really dark brown. Really, really cute. Natural. Will go with any makeup look. Very summer ready. So, guys. I don't know what to tell you. This wig is immaculate. It was easy to install. Mind you, I didn't do the full install. Look at that hairline. Look at that hairline. I didn't even do the full install. I didn't use no ghost bond this time. So when it's time for me to go outside and cut up in the wig, I'm absolutely securing her. I'm securing the lace. I'm going to make sure I use ghost bond and free spray. And I'm going to make sure she's all laid down. But if you're a wig beginner and you want your wig to look professionally installed, and and or you want natural looking hairlines this is what you need to get you need to get a wig with kinky curly hairline or a 4c hairline whatever however they describe it that's what you need to get i don't know what to tell you i hope this video was helpful on your next selection for your wig because honey we're wearing wigs okay that's what we do on this channel. We wear wigs. So I really do hope this is helpful. All the details will be down in the description box. And I'll see y'all on the next one. I'm going to go ahead and let the video run out. So y'all can look at how I, I'm doing. I'm being really extra. I'm really not saying anything in the rest of the video. But just go ahead and just look how pretty this wig is. And I'll see y'all on the next one.